Hi everybody, Fororata Live here with another Keyforge video. This is a super exciting video. Mass Mutations is now out in China, Taiwan and Hong Kong. We're starting to see decks uploaded to the Master Vault. And what I'm going to be showing you today is the first deck discovered with all seven sins in it. Super, super exciting. So just a reminder that although um, Mass Mutation has come out in China, Taiwan and Hong Kong, uh, we've got to wait about six more weeks till July the 10th to get this new Keyforge set released elsewhere around the world. So at the moment we're seeing a lot of Chinese language decks coming onto the Master Vault. Master Vault app's been updated. We can now look at the decks that people are opening overseas and see what they're looking like. And this is it. This is the first deck discovered with all seven sins in it. We weren't sure if you could get all seven sins in a deck. We'd been told that if you got um, one in a deck, you'd likely get um, at least like three maybe or five. Uh, but now we know for sure you can get all seven sins in a deck. So this is one of these new mass mutation decks. Um, it's a Dis Star Reliance Shadows deck. It's actually looking like a really strong, exciting deck to play with. What I'm going to do now is obviously take you through each of these cards one by one talk about the deck you can see there's a whole load of enhancements as well on the deck here um, let's talk about each of the seven sins and I think having all seven in the deck is going to be absolutely incredible in terms of some of the synergies you can get so um, this is a really really exciting find um, it's actually on, up for sale at the moment if you're watching this um, when the videos first release uh, the guy who owns this Mark Chung has put it up on the Keyforge um, sales group on Facebook, that's where we found all this information out, um, and now I'm going to show you card by card what's in this deck. So here we go, here's the deck. I've got absolutely no idea what the name translates as, so keen to hear from those that might be able to translate it. But as you can see, it's a mass mutation deck in the Master Vault for the first time. Uh, this Shadow Star Alliance, so let's see what is in the deck. And you can see here the cards in blue showing that they've got an enhancement, but the Master Vault doesn't seem to know exactly what those are. So I'll take you through um, card by card, and of course having seen that photo of the deck, I can actually explain to you uh, what enhancements are on each card. So first up we've got Drekker, it's a 4 power creature, damage dealt to Drekker's neighbours during fights is also uh, dealt to Drekker, um, Reap Steal 1. So interesting effect, um, this is enhanced, it's got a capture pip on it in this deck so you can see the name there in blue. Second card, Imp Spectre, this is a card we've seen before, 2 power creature destroyed your opponent purges a random card from their hand, all good. Now, Cinder, 6 power, 2 armor, Taunt, Reap, destroy a friendly creature. So it's a powerful creature. In this deck, it's got an extra damage pip enhanced. Um, so we can see the names in blue there. Double Doom now, an action card, also enhanced in this deck. It's got a, it's got a damage pip as well. Um, play, return an enemy creature to its owner's hand. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. So that's quite a nice effect to take something off the board and uh, make your opponent lose something. Now, a uh, rare card, Guilty Hearts, and it's also enhanced here. So it comes with an amber pip as normal, you can see that on the card here. It's also got a capture pip in this deck, um, and it says destroy each creature with amber on it. So that's a really strong effect, particularly against some of those big Saurian boards in Worlds Collide, and we'll probably see some of that in Mass Mutation as well. Next up, Desire, the first of the sins in this deck, and it's also enhanced um, with quite a few pips. So it's got a capture, a damage, and a draw card um, enhancement on this Desire. So that is turning it into a super powerful card. It's got an amazing effect as well. Keys cost plus four amber um, for both players. Reap, forge a key at current cost reduced by one amber for each friendly sin creature. So particularly in this deck with seven sin creatures, if you've got three or four of those out on the board, um, your opponent's getting that key cost increase. You can reap with desire um, and forge effectively at normal cost or without that penalty. So that's gonna give you a huge, huge advantage. Um, so really great creature. Next up, Envy. Um, Envy, three power, elusive, reap. If there are two or more friendly sin creatures, capture all of your opponent's amber. And of course you've got seven in this deck, so you're pretty likely to have two or more out. Um, if you can keep Envy on the board for a turn um, and get to reap with it, you've just captured all that amber. Incredible. Um, Gluttony next. Six uh, power creature. Play, exalt gluttony once for each friendly sin creature. So, okay, so you're potentially going to be putting quite a lot of amber on it in this deck. Reap, move each amber from friendly creatures to your pool. Again, completely insane. With Envy there, potentially capturing all your opponent's amber, um, and then Gluttony, uh, reaping and moving all the amber into your pool, you could be building up a huge amount of amber and effectively stealing all your opponent's amber in, in one turn. 
Let's look at Greed. Uh, four power creature. During your draw card step, refill your hand to one additional card for each friendly sin creature. So again, two, three, four, potentially seven cards out on the deck. Um, you just need to play them, so even if your opponent takes them out the next turn, you've already had that benefit when you've drawn cards at the end of your turn. Pride, four power, reap, ward each friendly sin creature. Again, if you're getting all these sins out, if you start warding them, your opponent is in big, big trouble. There's probably no way back. Um, once you get all these sins warded, they're just going to be taking your amber. They're going to be destroying you. Next in, Sloth. Five power. At the end of your turn, if you did not use any creatures this turn, gain one amber for each friendly sin creature. So you can still play cards, you just can't use any creatures. Um, so if you've got three, four, five of these sins out on the board, um, and you can play them, um, don't use them, you're just going to gain amber at the end of your turn. You could gain you could gain six amber in one turn with this deck for a key. Um, if you had an incredibly lucky draw, you've somehow got stuff into the archives. Um, I, I just think this is amazing. Um, you know, and you've got to look at the cards in your hand and think, well, if I don't use any creatures, can I actually gain more just by having sins out on the board? And the last one here, um, Roth. Three power, three armor. It's got Taunt, Poison, and Skirmish. Fight for each friendly sin creature, Enrage an enemy creature. So this is probably the one of the sins I'm least excited about. Um, it's okay, it's gonna take stuff out. Um, it's gonna enrage a load of creatures. If you're up against a Logos deck or a deck with Star Alliance, maybe that's gonna want to do a lot of reaping. Um, this is clearly some, some reap hate because you can enrage them. But um, overall, this is probably one of the weakest sins. The fact that it's in this deck with all the others though, um, just amazing. I mean, look at that disc lineup. Guilty Hearts, Double Doom, they're great cards. Um, you've, you've got Drekker, Imp Spectre, um, Cinder as well. So you've got an amazing lineup here in disc. All seven sins, incredible. But it doesn't stop there because this is actually a pretty good deck overall. Let's have a look now at um, Shadows here. Um, so here we've got Mutant Cut Purse. So this is one of the new cards in Mass Mutation. Uh, three uh, power creature, and really nothing special about this, although I do like the artwork, but it's put three damage pips into your deck. So that's why there's so many enhancements in this deck. Um, so three cards elsewhere in the deck have picked up a damage enhancement. You've actually got two mutant cut purses, so you've got six damage pips from um, going onto other cards as enhancements from this. Nexus, brilliant, reap, use an enemy artifact as if it were yours, so a bit of kind of artifact, not quite control, but artifact um, artifact uh, use capability. Next up, opportunist, this is an upgrade, um, comes with an amber on the card. In this deck it's also got a damage pip as well. This creature gains elusive, play, this creature captures one from its opponent. So um, you're giving a creature elusive, you're capturing amber on it with some of the other effects in the deck, that's going to be great. Seeker needle. Brilliant artifact, uh, we all know how useful that is. Deal one damage to a creature if it destroys the creature, gain one amber. Tempting off another new action. Um, and this has put a capture enhancement into the deck. Comes with an amber pip. Play, return an enemy creature to its owner's hand. If you do, your opponent gains one. Now, next uh, card here, booby trap. Um, it's an action here. It's got an amber pip on it, but it's also got a draw pip in this deck. That's the enhancement. That's why it's in blue. It's an action. Deal four damage to a creature that is not on a flank with two damage. Splash. Great action. Um, great bit of board clear. Amber here and um, a draw icon. Another new shadows action. Borrow. Play. Take control of an enemy artifact. While under your control, it belongs to House Shadows. Fantastic. Fantastic artifact. Um, stealing. Comes with an amber pip here. It's also got a damage pip as an enhancement. Fidget. We've seen before. Uh, reprint. Two power creature. Elusive. Reap. Discard a random card from your opponent's archives or the top card of their deck. If it's an action card, play it as if it were yours. Um, so that's a really handy card to have. Now, another card that's a reprint, Perplexing Sophistry, it's an action, comes with an amber pip here, it's enhanced, so it's coming with an extra damage pip as well. Play, if you have more amber than your opponent, they discard a random card from their hand and you draw a card. Master Plan, great artifact, again a reprint, comes with an amber pip here, it's also got a damage pip, so many damage pips 
um, added to this deck as enhancements. So you can put a card um, from your hand face down under Master Plan and then it's an Omni ability so any turn you can play the card under Master Plan and destroy it, uh, destroy Master Plan. So that's a, a fantastic card. Um, and here Splinter, one power creature, it's put six damage pips of enhancement into the deck. Um, and the flavor text, he doesn't cut any slack, say some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle references there in the artwork and on the card. Um, not a great creature, but it's just really there putting that enhancement uh, into your deck. Now let's have a look at Star Alliance, because Star Alliance is good as well, and some of the new cards coming up here. Um, Access Denied, this creature cannot reap as an upgrade, that comes with um, an Amber Pip. That That is so powerful, I've had that played against um, my Fagins um, playing online with the Mass Mutation decks on TCO, and that is so frustrating um, to have on your card. Blast Shielding, another upgrade, this creature gets plus two armor. Um, after this creature is used, its controller may attach Blast Shielding to one of this creature's neighbors, so you can kind of work your way along the line, adding Blast Shielding, um, particularly if you're fighting, that's very handy. Now, two of these Crewman Yorks, and they're both enhanced, and they both actually have an extra damage pip. So Crewman Yorks put a capture pip into the deck, um, it's got that as an enhancement. It's a three power creature action. If Crewman York has no Star Alliance neighbors, steal one, okay? Um, and it's got a damage pip on it in this case. And in fact, that's the same for the second one. So two of these both coming with an extra damage pip. Um, Explo Rover, that's a card we've seen before, Skirmish. Um, it can be played as an upgrade or as a three power creature with Skirmish. Hadron Collision. Um, action, remove a ward from a creature and deal th three damage to it. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. Great action against warded creatures, particularly if they're small creatures, really powerful ones, you've got to get off the board. Now we've got an Observe You Max upgrade. Um, comes with an Amber Pip. Um, here it's also got a Damage Pip, and this creature gains Fight Reap Capture 1. Um, so giving a creature some um, capture capability. Then since Chief Garcia, Great card to have reprinted some key cost control. Play fight reap keys cost plus two amber during your opponent's next turn. Um, so that's great to have in hand. Now teleporter chief Tink, um, two power creature, elusive action. Swap teleporter chief Tink with another friendly creature in your battle line. You may use that other creature this turn. So that's a bit of house cheating um, in terms of creature use. So effectively, instead of using Tink, you can use a different creature that's out in play. So that's pretty handy because Tink himself, uh, no particularly amazing capabilities. Although in this deck, he's enhanced. You can see from the blue um, text there, and he's got two damage pips on him. So two of those damage pips on Tink. So two damage when you play him, um, and then you've got that capability, um, action capability. Next up, Lieutenant Commander Trigon, um, four power creature, reap, discard the top card of your deck, resolve that card's bonus icons as if you'd played it. Mm, I'm, I'm a bit so-so on this one. I think, uh, dependent on the deck and what's coming up, you know, this has got a lot of damage pips in it. Um, that might be helpful, but to be honest, you, c you can just play that card on the next turn, probably, oh, I'm just not seeing it, and I'm, I'm worried here that you're gonna be discarding a card that's actually pretty powerful. Uh, new Frontiers, this is a new action card in Star Alliance in Mass Mutation, comes with an Amber Pip. Um, play, choose a house, reveal the top three cards of your deck, archive each card of the chosen house and discard the others. So, um, depending on when that comes up, certainly if you're pretty confident you've got a load of one house coming up um, in your deck as you get down towards the end, that could be pretty handy, comes with an Amber Pip as well. And then lastly, Ensign El, Sam El Samra, so uh, three power creature, Action, reveal a card from your hand, resolve its bonus icons as if you'd played it. That's pretty helpful because you're in control of that more than um, if you're uh, using the effect on Trigon. Uh, it's also put three draw card enhancements into the deck. So overall, this, this looks like a really great deck. Obviously, it's incredible having the seven sins. That's the real big draw here. But actually, the rest of the decks looks looks pretty strong as well. And there's an awful lot of enhancements um, coming from things like the Splinter, the Double Mutant Cut Purse, um, the Ensign El Samra, etc. So actually, um, quite an interesting Mass Mutation deck, really showing us what those enhancements can do. Lots of additional damage in this deck. If you're up against this deck and your opponent gets a load of those Sins creatures in play, I think they are going to be in a very strong position um, because the, syne the level of synergy within the Sins um, looks like it's going to be game-breakingly incredible. Um, and I think if you can get them out on the board, protect them somehow, there's not too much protection um, in this deck. Um, but if you can get them out on the board and keep them on the board, if your opponent can't clear them, then uh, you are going to be in a really strong position.
So that was the first deck we've seen in Mass Mutation with all seven sins in it. We now know for sure you can get all seven sins in a deck, um, and this deck is pretty incredible, not just because of that disc lineup with the seven sins, um, but as I've just shown you, some really great other cards in there, really showing us what enhancements in Mass Mutation can do. I am so excited about Mass Mutation coming out. Can't wait for the 10th of July uh, when it gets released worldwide, but the Master Vault's updated. We're seeing decks being added now all the time. Um, the hype is real. Mass Mutation is here for people um, elsewhere in the world, and I just can't wait to crack open a deck myself and start playing with this. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like it. Please subscribe to the channel. Please check out my other Keyforge content. I've got loads of great Keyforge videos on my YouTube channel. You can also see me streaming on Twitch, um, playing some games in the Crucible from time to time. So if you want to watch me actually playing with um, some Keyforge decks, uh, please do subscribe to me on there. Follow me on Twitch as well and check out those videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. I can't wait for Mass Mutations to be released. Super excited about it. Thanks for watching.